This tournament was only the beginning of the Connor Bedard show. With Canada winning gold in last night's game and Bedard's memorable performance all throughout this tournament, the entire hockey world is buzzing for Connor Bedard. The hype is at an all time high and he hasn't even played a single game in the NHL yet. Narratives in hockey and sport in general work in a funny way. Deemed a generational prospect, if Connor Bedard had a quiet world juniors tournament in his draft year, there would for sure be doubters. There probably still are even after his performance in this tournament, but his place cemented his status as a generational prospect and this is why. To start, he broke the record for most career points in Canadian World Junior history, surpassing Eric Lindros, and he did it in a spectacular fashion. Every game in this tournament, he was an impact player. 23 points in seven games, and he was just head and shoulders above his competition. The points were fantastic, but it didn't mean anything if he didn't show up in big moments, and Connor Bedard did just that. Special players make special plays when the game calls for it, and for Connor Bedard, this goal was the superstar moment that every generation generational player has at some point in their career. Sid has the golden goal, McDavid recently had multiple massive goals in last year's playoff run, and now Connor Bedard has this. Being a two-time gold medal winner at 17 isn't bad either. The mentality and focus that Bedard showed all tournament long is something that really impressed me. Even after he scored that massive goal versus Slovakia, he kept the glorious play in the past. A lot of players may get satisfied in that moment and rest on their achievement, but that's not the mentality of special players like Bedard. Guys like Crosby, McDavid, and now even Bedard understand that you're only as good as your last shift and you gotta prove it every night that you're out there. In this sport especially, the team team always comes first. How Bedard handled himself off the ice during this tournament was just as impressive as his on-ice performance. Despite all the hype, he never wanted the conversation to be about his play, but rather the focus always remained on winning a gold medal. I'm not talking about myself right now. We're not talking about me. We just won the biggest tournament in the world. And man, I love this group. I love this country. If nothing else, he's a Canadian folk hero for this one interview alone. The face of hockey in Canada has always been a humble, team-first leader, and Bedard lived up to that role nicely in this tournament. All that being said, he is still only 17 and yet to play a game in the NHL. Some people think his size will make for a tough transition to the NHL, but I think that's a long shot. Bedard at times in this tournament and in the last tournament got the superstar treatment from competition to try and get him off his game. Instead of shying away, he actually welcomed it. Whether that's being engaged physically with a hit or not backing down in scrums, Bedard showed bite in his game and that's important when it comes to being a star in the NHL. This treatment will continue in the NHL, but as long as he's a player who embraces it while not getting intimidated, he will become an even more valuable player. Couple this with the fact that over the last few years especially, we've seen players of a similar build have a ton of success in the NHL, I think he will be just fine. Now that the tournament is over, teams are going to be pulling out all the stops to tank for Bedard, and Chicago may honestly just stop showing up to the rink entirely at this point for how bad they are. No matter who wins the Bedard sweepstakes, I think what I'm most excited for is to have Crosby, Ovechkin, McDavid, and now Bedard all in one league. Even though he's yet to play a single game in the NHL, this tournament is just the beginning of the Connor Bedard show. So let me know in the comments down below who you want Connor Bedard to go to in the NHL draft, and also let me know if you think this was the single greatest world junior performance in Canadian history. Also, if you're a hockey player yourself and want to learn how to play more like Connor Bedard, check out Hockey Training. They help hockey players of all skill levels with off-ice training, and they've been putting out a ton of Bedard shooting drills on their hockey training app to help players with their release. If you're interested, I'll leave all the links down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, click on any of the videos right here.